This is Old Trafford, long-time home of Manchester United. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith alongside me. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. Manchester United against Newcastle United. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it, so I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. anyone more likely in the Newcastle United lineup to be the man of the match today. This guy, not bad at all. Four goals in his last three games. Another danger man to keep an eye out for. They've shuffled their pack today, Manchester United. Sergio Romero plays in goal. Eric Bailly plays alongside Axel Tuanzebi at the back. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. Thank you all Newcastle to United's line. Different kind of approach from this side, I think. They will get men behind the ball. They will make it difficult for the opposition to score. It's that old-fashioned art that's quite often ignored of defending, of just resolutely sitting in there and seeing what you can get on the break. Game started by Manchester United. Challenges for the ball. They've spread it out wide here. Could whip it in from here. Could see what he was trying to do, but the defender in the way. Arsenal, not good at the moment. The Gunners don't seem to have too much ammunition so far this season. No, I mean, I just can't believe where they are in the table. I thought they would have picked up by now in their efforts to uh, finish in a Champions League position. As things stand, can't see any sign of a recovery chance for a break in numbers Odia Nigala he's seen the shot sweeping upfield and scoring in style well that is the perfect example of a modern day counter attack Martin, wonderful they've just run away from them and they're likely to do that in the match if they keep playing like this. Yeah, such a dangerous side on the counter-attack because they move the ball from back to front so quickly. Showing his frustrations, the manager. I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't, and his team are losing now. Marvellous for Manchester United, they are in front. Joe Linton. And the ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. This is how they love to play on the break. Saved by the keeper, but not decisively. a bit too hard trying to force the pass and it went uh, straight to an opponent can whip it in now great technique not really away from the threat here now here's a chance from winning the ball Pogba teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here can pull it back here to set up a chance well, they scored to stretch their lead, double their advantage. Well, he got to the 
possession of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have got to be there. And uh, this lad has got the knack of doing that. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Manchester United. Number 25, Odeon Igalo. Now they've won it here. They could be in. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today, and I've been really impressed by the way they've gone about the business, taken the game to the opposition, they've dictated the tempo, they're totally in control, can they see it through to the end? A chance to break away now on the counter. Left the defenders trailing now, here's a chance. Quick, decisive, but not quite in the end, the finish that they needed. No, it was a textbook counter, but uh, not quite a textbook finish. What a chance that was to get back into this game. Manager can't believe his players missed out. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Cleared the ball. Higalo. Greenwood. Mata. Odeon Higalo. And here's Paul Pogba trying to put his teammate in. It comes out off the goal and Pogba has put away the chance, getting forward from his midfield base to make the most of this opportunity. Can't be too critical of the keeper, but he just needed some help from his defenders there. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. Well, this is Manchester United at their Goal sparkling for best. Manchester United. Number six, Paul Pogba. Greenwood. Higalo. United moving smoothly through midfield. Now he can cross it. Dealt with the danger. And it goes out from the header for a throw. Mata. Well, you can score a goal at any point in a game. He hasn't really looked like scoring any so far, has he? He'll be hoping for better as the match develops. Just hasn't looked himself today. Looked a little bit lacklustre. I don't know if he's ill or not fit, but uh, certainly not the player that we normally see. The board has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Good vision here. Well, then it goes. Not one from the textbook, that one, a booking, I think. But that will go down against Manchester United's record in this game, a yellow card. A yeah, silly one, he could have avoided that. He took a chance there, really, and I don't think it paid off. Well, one or two people in the crowd howling for him to be punished for that. Certainly didn't get the ball. Is it going to be an in-swinger or an out-swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. In it goes. Well, sometimes you just have to clear it like that. Safety first.
put the corner in the middle. And the referee has signaled for half-time. 3-0 is the scoreline at this point. And then what did you make of Paul Pogba and the way he played in the first half? I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. I guess the coach might have said, well, if they can do that in one half, you can do it in the other half. But it's going to take a lot of character for the losing side to fight back. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. Now, can he take them on? Made the tackle. He's made the interception. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA. Threads it through. Well, now it looks like a question of just how many. They really are on top now, stretching the lead, looking like the real winners of this match. Well, that could be the game for Manchester United, should be the game. Well, you don't often see them let this kind of lead slip. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Well, it's not easy to find the spirit here that they're going to need in these circumstances as they kick off again. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Delivery to the far post. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. As for Newcastle United, their next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Everton in the next match. And uh, judging by the way that they've been playing, they're really evenly matched. So Maxima. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Let's go over to Alan McAnally at the Vitality Stadium. Goal news, Alan. It's a goal for Arsenal. It's been scored by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Scored from a good way out with lots of bend and spin. The keeper couldn't get to it. 59 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And he's dispossessed. Here's Bentaleb. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. They could be in behind the back line. Or oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Under some pressure, he shielded it well. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Matter. Matter. Shot blocked here. Very good defending. Reading the danger and blocking it away. Joe Linton probing with the pass. He wants to run at them with the ball. It's good to see. Still heading for goal. And he did well to get to the ball first. That's the best I can say. Well, he has missed it. And what an invitation to spurn, Alan. Well, there's nothing wrong with the ball in. But uh, just didn't time it properly and it's gone wide. Read the play well. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Joe Linton. It's poor work, really. No way.
way through for the shot. Blocked. Well, they could have been opened up there, but the interception stopped that. Really in the clear now, in on goal. And the whistle has gone because the assistant flag for offside. Manchester United want to make a change now. Countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Henri Saive. They've been trying to do this, get the ball over the top. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Pogba. Read that well with the interception. But got his angles wrong with the pass. Old Trafford, give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Number 25, Obian Igalo. Igalo. There's still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Three minutes of added time. Igalo. Shaw. He could cross it from here. Final whistle. Well, at times you thought they got a bit greedy, but why not? I mean, if you're on top of an opponent like they were here today, rub it in. Well, they did. They were ruthless, weren't they? They rubbed their faces into the dirt. And uh, that is the hallmark of a top side.